Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you clicking on that video as always. And we are back with another Weekly Wears video where I go over every fragrance that I wore all seven days last week. So if that's content you think you wanna see more of, please be sure, like this video, subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's jump right into the list, starting with Sunday. So on Sunday, I went with a scent that is probably in my top three fragrances in terms of scent profile of all of my scents and fragrances that I have in my collection. I love this one. This is a flanker of the original. However, this is a lot like that original with a twist. Scent I'm talking about is La Nuit de Lome Blue Electrique. This is essentially the original La Nuit de Lome with a twist of ginger, some added ambroxan. and just a beautiful scent profile. I just love this stuff. It is sweet, masculine, floral, uh, just put together. The ginger in here really adds a biting twist to that La Nuit de Lome DNA, which is really floral heavy, uh, but still remains masculine. It's one of those florals that just works for guys. It's intriguing, it's sensual, it's sexy. Being out to dinner with someone you care about, uh, someone you're trying to impress, a lovely lady sitting across the table from you. This stuff is just amazing. I love it. Why discontinue this? I don't know why. Why YSL, why? Doesn't make any sense. Incredible fragrance. I actually got a backup bottle of this. Uh, this is the 60 ml, so a two ounce. I actually got a backup bottle of this when Macy's was having a sale on it. So I paid $80 total for essentially uh, four ounces of uh, La Nuit de Lone Blue Electrique. And I'm happy I did because I really enjoy the scent profile. As I said, great for date night. Women are gonna love this fragrance. Reason being, it's fresh, it's sweet, it's just the right amount of florals, and that ginger adds just the right amount of edge to this making this really a well-rounded quality fragrance. La Nuit de Lome, Blue Electrique. On Monday, I reached for one of my wife's favorite fragrances and one that I will definitely get a lot of use out of once the spring weather hits here in New England. Scent I'm talking about is Moschino's Toy Boy. There's just something about this one. I find myself reaching for it a few days here and there in the, you know, sort of the um, winter months because it is uplifting and it reminds me of the springtime. Fantastic atomizer on here. This is really a, a masculine rose aquatic scent with some spice and green aspects to it as well. Perfect springtime scent. I mean, perfect springtime scent. This is polarizing for whatever reason. I'm not sure. Some people say it reminds them of their grandmother, smells too feminine to them. I personally don't get that from this. And I'm pretty sensitive to unisex fragrances or at least fragrances that are marketed unisex. The ones that have florals in them or white florals and are marketed men and women typically lean too feminine for me. So I'm sensitive to those. I don't get that from this. If you like rose and you like aquatics, Definitely check this out. It has a really nice musk in the dry down, a little spicy, and a monster performer lasts all day. Definitely get your nose on Moschino's Toy Boy. Really quickly, guys, because we hit 4,000 subscribers, I am doing a giveaway. So if you have not entered that giveaway, I will link the video here so you can go over, check out the official rules, and win a bottle of... Dirty English from Juicy Couture, one of my favorite cheapies. So once again, go over to that video, check out the description and see how to enter to win. On Tuesday, I was able to sneak in a little date night with my wife. And this is another one that she absolutely loves. She's actually won this herself. Scent I'm talking about is Parfums de Mali's Godolphin. Sexy leather and saffron fragrance. And this one, again, with that saffron, and there's some green aspects to this, adds a little more depth to 
what this gets compared to. It gets compared to other popular leather forward fragrances. Most of you know what those are already. Not gonna mention them, not worth mentioning them because I want this to sort of come across as a, it's a stand on its own fragrance. This holds its own. And I prefer this over many of those. You could say this is a little more edge to it, a little, I don't even wanna say the word harsh, but it's not as smooth as some of those other leather fragrances, but that's what I personally like about it. That saffron in here is prominent and it adds this earthy, bitter sweetness to that leather, making this a more interesting fragrance in my opinion. Doesn't get enough love. Doesn't get enough love when you're talking about leather fragrances. Doesn't get enough love when you're talking about strictly parfums de Mali fragrances. This is one of my favorite parfums de Mali and just one that sh really should get more attention and talked about a bit more. And on top of that, it is an absolute beast of a performer. If you spray it on clothes, expect it to last days, last all day, 10 plus hours or so. Incredible performer and I love this one. Parfums de Mali, Godolphin. On Wednesday, I felt going casual but also a bit sweet. So the scent I went with is Halloween Man X. This one is warm, spicy, sweet, fresh, and clean. This is every amber sort of aromatic fougere all wrapped into one fragrance with a twist of roasted coffee, which really makes this unique and separates it a bit from the pack of all those others. Doesn't smell like Versace Eros, but it's in the Versace Eros sort of family in terms of, again, sweetness, freshness, warm and spicy, compliment getter. This thing, I actually got a compliment the day I wore this. I don't know what it is with the supermarket, but I was food shopping and grabbing something out of the uh, refrigerated section. Had walked maybe 10 feet, a woman, uh, rolled in behind me and was basically in the sillage of this fragrance and said, wow, you smell amazing. You smell so good, sir. It made me feel good. I mean, I don't know how it wouldn't make you feel good if you get a compliment for your fragrance, which is why I like to point it out when I actually get a real world compliment on my fragrances. I think all too often people just, especially on YouTube, you see videos about, you know, guaranteed compliment getters. Um, I don't know if I necessarily believe all of that. I think you need some real world experience and whether or not it actually worked in the real world. So I got an actual compliment unsolicited from a stranger wearing Halloween Man X. It's just a really pleasant scent profile that lends itself to compliments. All day performer and as I said, great sillage and that roasted coffee note, one of the best, one of my favorite coffee fragrances really comes out in the mid to late dry down and some of that sweetness subsides. One of the reasons why I have this in the collection. I'm a fan of coffee and this is one of my favorites. Halloween Man X. This one was a recent rack store pickup in a nostalgia buy without question. Hadn't smelt this one in a very long time and was psyched to see it at such a great price. I said I had to grab it and sort of hopefully would bring back some of those memories of all those years I wore it. Scent I'm talking about is Polo Sport from Ralph Lauren. Now, this was $20 for a 40 ml, and to me, perfect. I have a larger collection, so when I grab something for nostalgia purposes, maybe something that's not gonna get a ton of wear, maybe it smells dated or just maybe it's just not the same fragrance I remember, I like to get the smaller bottle. But with that being said, I actually still quite enjoy this. I get the original sort of OG uh, DNA here. It hasn't been reformulated to the point where it's a different scent. Where I think it definitely was hit was in performance and I'll get into that, but this still smells great and would be a perfect addition to your sort of spring rotation, easy, dumb reach, maybe overlooked by many because there's so many fragrances that, you know, I guess do something similar. However, this has that 90s quality musk and metallicness to it that is just so addictive 
at least for someone like me who wore this a ton back in the night late 90s um and it just it's a classic in terms of you know the profile but still holds up today as i said this is a shadow of its former self in terms of performance this used to be an absolute monster of a performer a few sprays would last you all day and you could smell it the next day on clothes that's not the case anymore which is usually the case for many fragrances that's where they sort of suffer first is in performance so although the scent is still there and it's still very familiar to me the performance not so much but i'm still happy to have this in the collection and if you have not watched that video yet definitely check out my first impressions after 20 some odd years of wearing this pretty much religiously ralph lorenz polo sport I guess I was feeling coffee this week because on Friday I reached for another favorite coffee scent of mine. However, this one's a little bit lighter on the coffee. It's not as prominent, but it's blended beautifully with the rest of the scent profile. Scent I'm talking about is Robert Graham's Valor. This one had some hype for a short time because it was available not the greatest atomizer. It was available uh, at rack stores at one point. I never saw it there, but I guess you could have gotten this at a rack store for like 20 bucks, which is an absolute insane steal because this is quality juice. It's worth more than that. I paid around $70 for it because I'm lucky enough to have a Robert Graham outlet store near me. It was on discount and I was able to grab it. I don't know if you guys have Robert Graham discount sort of uh, outlet stores near you, Definitely check them out and see what they have. It was worth that price to me. I had tested it when I was in Las Vegas at another Robert Graham outlet store, and I fell in love with the scent. A fresh, spicy, masculine woody with that twist of coffee. And it has a creaminess to it. I don't know if the creaminess is coming from something like a sandalwood or, uh, I definitely get cedar in here. It's very woody, creamy, a little bit of sweetness, spicy, masculine, versatile, signature scent worthy for, probably some people i want to say this would really shine in the fall this is i think fall when i think of valor but it is versatile enough that i think you get away with this in every season essentially really hot days you might have a little bit of trouble an average performer but still i think worth owning because it's unique it doesn't really remind me of anything else definitely doesn't remind me of anything else in my collection and it's memorable you spray this i tried it like i said i tested it in vegas months later i grabbed a bottle, smelled it again on myself, and was like, wow, yes. This was a very memorable scent that I knew I needed to own. Robert Graham, Valor. Finally, on Saturday, I had an open house to attend. I was holding the open house, so I wanted something effortless, masculine, signature scent worthy. Doesn't get more signature scent worthy than this. Scent I'm talking about is Zaharoff's signature porno. Now, this one does have some hype behind it, but it's worthy of that hype. Oh man, in the air, just incredible. My favorite part of the scent is the blend of the myrrh and the incense, adding this warm, sweet, balsamic, slightly smoky, resinous element to the scent. It's also reminiscent of those clean barbershop fougere type fragrances of the 80s, the powerhouse fragrances, made much more modern for the modern man with that twist of incense and myrrh, incredible. It's more upscale and elegant than those fragrances that I spoke about, but this is also versatile. You know, it's signature for a reason. I find this changes with what I'm wearing. So if I'm wearing a hoodie and sweatpants, I can still wear this and it, it has this casual element to it. And then I can wear it again on a day where I'm wearing a dress shirt and a tie for work. It dresses up and it just sort of changes. And that to me is the true definition of a versatile signature scent worthy fragrance. I know Zaharoff's prices are crawling up. So I still think this is value packed. I want to say you can get a four ounce bottle of this for under $200, which to me is still packed with value, still a fantastic deal. 
and you there's also a two ounce bottle available definitely incredible scent and should be considered as a signature types if you're into signature scent fragrances transitional fragrances day to night whatever you're wearing it works definitely check out zaharoff signature pour home that's all i have today guys let me know in the comment section down below what your weekly rotation was i love knowing what you guys are wearing if you like what we saw today please be sure to like comment subscribe share this video hit that bell notification so you are updated whenever i upload new content but until then have a fantastic week and i'll see you in the next video <music>